Hi everyone, I am Hang. In this video, I will talk about the uh, heat engines, heat pumps, and refrigerators. Now we immediately move to the heat engine. So this one is the uh, simulation for uh, the heat engine. So what, how does it work? The engine will get the energy from the hot reservoir. So get, get energy in kind of heat and then the engine will perform work to make the the device work for example and then release uh, uh, to the cold reservoir the heat qc like this uh -huh. okay so uh, the cycle you see it goes by this way usually we see it goes by the clockwise uh, yes counterclockwise yes like that so uh, uh, remember the heat engine get energy from a uh, hot reservoir in kind of heat then uh, the engine performs the work and release the the left energy to the cold reservoir so how do we calculate the efficiency you get the work done by the engine we denote uh, W prime here divide by the heat that the engine receives from from the hot reservoir. Next, how do you calculate the uh, work done by the engine? So you base on the first law. The first law like this: the change of internal energy equal the heat plus the work done on the system. So the heat here, you have a heat cold and heat hot in the, the in that glow system of the heat engine, and you have the work, the work in this case. Uh, here, the first law, follow the first law. So we have the work here is work done on the system, but for the heat engine, you have a work done by the system. So remember the relation between work done by the system here and work done on the system you have a minus here so how do you calculate the the work done by the system e, it equals minus the work done on the system and the work done on the system you base on this formula to calculate it now you move work from here to the other side you have a minus work and q hot you rewrite q hot q code you rewrite q code next equals Q hot, you rewrite it instead of Q code. Q code, if we we write like this, so that means the system receives the heat. But actually, in um, heat engine, the system release heat. Uh, so you have uh, to the cold reservoir. So here you have to write minus Q code and the sign here. So the engine, how do you how do you write it? You write it by this way. Instead of uh, uh, this one is work done by the system. So you here you write by this one. You put it here. So you have a here. Here Q hot divided by Q hot. You have a one. So finally you have this formula. Actually, if you the the heat engine, uh, you use the Carnot cycles for the heat engine. And you can cycle for the heat engine so you can uh, here is the kind of cycle you have a, a to b is the isothermal process so this process means the system receive a uh, heat from the hot reservoir and b to c is a isotherm uh, no no adiabatic so it, it means that the process you see the pressure is a decrease so that means we uh, we uh, that the the system perform uh, the compressing process and then from c to d so there is some the system released the heat to the cold reservoir to keep the temperature is a constant so you have a isothermal process here and from d to a you see the pressure increase that means uh, we perform the, uh, the you, we release uh, the air inside the system or or something inside the system here is a glow process based on the the processes uh, isothermal and adiabatic we can prove that uh, by this way and you can have uh, the efficiency by this formula so that means instead of uh, q you can base on the temperature to calculate it 
so um, remember that so we have formula for the efficiency if the uh, uh, normal from normal cycle the other cycle so you you can calculate by this formula to have a efficiency for the heat engine but if the the cycle uh, the Carnot cycle so you instead of Q heat you can write temperature heat okay now we move to the next one the heat pumps and the refrigerators so how does it work that means like this now we talk about the heat pumps okay uh, so how does it work uh, for example in the winter you need to warm up your room so your room is the hot reservoir okay and uh, the outside the environment outside is the cold reservoir when you turn on the power the electric power so the heat pump will get energy from the the uh, the electric uh, power and that energy will uh, ta that that work we call that energy is the work that work will get the heat from the cold reservoir that means the outside environment and release that heat to the hot reservoir that means your room okay so conclusion the heat and uh, the heat pump like uh, the heater uh, it get the work from the outside receive the work from the outside for example electric power so when it receives the work from outside that work will get the heat from the cold reservoir that means the outside environment and release uh, the heat to the hot reservoir that means your room okay next we talk about the refrigerators so the same scheme like this so just only like this uh, if refrigerator so when you turn on the the power so the refrigerator will receive the work from the power that work will get the heat from the cold reservoir that means the environment inside the refrigerator and then release the heat to the hot reservoir that means the environment outside the refrigerator that means uh, the in this case the in, in the hot reservoir is a, a, uh, infinity because of all the environment outside the refrigerator okay okay so how do we calculate the uh, for the refri uh, for the refrigerator and the heat pump so we calculate the coefficient coefficient of performance we call that one is c o p coefficient of performance so we do know c o p Mm -hmm. and how do we calculate it calculate it we get the heat received from the cold reservoir divided by the work done on the refrigerator or or the the the, uh, the heat pump okay so here the formula so in case uh, that uh, from given you don't have the work so you have to calculate the work to put here to calculate the cop you can how do you calculate the work you base on the change of internal energy like this so from change of internal energy you can get the work out and you put the work through the heat here and you have the formula if the carnet if the the, the refrigerators uh, inside the uh, so you have a, if you have a, the uh, carnet cycle uh, for the refrigerator so you instead of q you can write the temperature okay next how do you can write the heat pump the the cop for the heat pump you do you do the same the heat delivered to the hot reservoir delivered to the hot reservoir okay if the refrigerator so the heat uh, received from the cold reservoir if the heat pump so the heat delivered to the hot reservoir i mean your room your room divide by the work if from given you you don't have information for the work so you base on the first law like this to calculate the work when you have the work you put it here so you have the formula for cop for the heating mode it's like this if that heating mode uh, work using the if this 
yes, if this heating pumps is uh, uh, using the Carnot cycle, so instead of heat, you can write the temperature like this. So conclusion for the the engine like this, uh, for the heat engine, so the efficiency like this. If you have uh, um, this engine is using the 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 Carnot cycle, so instead of heat, you can write the temperature. The same for the refrigerator and heat pump. If you use the Carnot cycle, so instead of heat, you can write the temperature okay thank you for listening